What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. I am gonna take no time messing around. You've seen the title, you know what's happened. I have just taken delivery of one of four Sea-Doo Explorer Pros in the world. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Adam and I am uh, an adventurer. I shoot videos with sea -Doo's. I have my truck camper right there. I do all kinds of fun things for you guys to watch here on YouTube. And for the last two years, I have been riding around on my trusty Fish Pro, which I absolutely love. Ironically, I don't fish. So this thing has just been used as an adventure ski. It's perfect for that because of its size, because of the ability to carry luggage on the back. And I absolutely love this thing, but Sea-Doo announced literally a month ago the Explorer Pro and basically this is the Sea-Doo that I have always dreamed of not just because it is in the perfect colorway for me the black the gray the neon yellow but because everything that I love about the Fish Pro everything the Fish Pro allows me to do this does it too and better so I want to run through a few of the new features on this thing because like I said this is brand new I am one of four people in the world in possession of one of these and i just couldn't be happier it is so mega so let's get into some of these new features show you what makes this thing so special and so perfect for what i do uh, so i guess we'll start here up front so they have added this grab rail and basically this is because they have made this thing so that you can beach it if you want to drag it up onto the sand you can pull this thing around you can use this thing to tie off so you're not limited to just using the cleats and the tie off points like this so this is actually bolted into the hull so it's completely solid absolutely awesome and i love how it looks too it gives it this much more like tactical look now the windscreen this is something that polarized people when they launched it I absolutely love it because it kind of looks like a snowmobile. Like if you put some skids right here and a track in the back, you've essentially got a snowmobile. Now, if you guys didn't know, Sea-Doo is actually owned by BRP and BRP make Ski-Doo. So they do make snowmobiles. So I imagine that the designers from Ski-Doo got together the guys from Sea-Doo and came up with this. But the windscreen is essentially there so that when you're doing long rides and you want to sit down, tuck out of the wind, this will kick the wind up above your head and give you that extra bit of comfort. I've driven this down here to the launch ramp today and so many people were taking pictures of it because look how much wilder it looks than just the normal sea -Doo. But the piece de resistance, the reason why the Explorer Pro is so good for exploring is because of the newly redesigned rear deck. So one of the things that I love about the Fish Pro is the fact that it has the two link systems because it meant that I could carry a lot with me. They totally redesigned the rear deck on the new one. Now, if you look on the Fish Pro, you can only mount them this way. They've changed so that now you turn them 90 degrees and then you've got more space. And this is one of the most exciting features. This is a 100 litre dry bag. And this thing actually comes off and turns into a really nice backpack with yellow straps. It is like they made this ski for me. Now, I've spoken to the guys at sea -Doo and I said, come on. You must have been thinking about me when you made this colorway. They didn't confirm nor deny it. So I'm gonna take that as they knew that I was gonna be riding one of these things. The colorway is epic. Now I do have a few more stickers to add on to this so that it's all sorted out for me. It's got my branding and everything, but just the way it looks out the box is epic. So let me show you a little bit how this works because under here is the key secret. And I think I found something that might not have been released online yet. So let me switch GoPros. I'm gonna put you in my mouth and and then we're gonna get to taking this off and show you where the magic is. So the dry bag just snaps off with these. So it's not a link system like this. It's like a little mini one, which is cool. So you just go snap, snap, and then one there, one there. So now we have the dry bag completely off. Look how cool that is. Isn't that a lovely bag? Now, when I saw this, I thought this was part of the main deck, but watch this. One, two, we go in there and in there. So now my Fish Pro has almost the same amount of storage as the new Explorer Pro. Now, obviously, like I said, we don't have the ones on the back, but how cool is that? 
So hopefully Sea-Doo starts selling this as an accessory, and then that way if you do have an older model, you can get the additional storage space, which is huge. Imagine you were going out fishing, and you had a Fish Pro, and you wanted to put your ice chest all the way back here with your rod holders in and everything, and then you could run extra fuel, you could run a bait box, whatever you wanted, that dry bag in the middle, you got tons of space, or you can just go back to the standard center mount as well, and then you've got the same amount of space, but why would you? If some is good, more is better. So welcome to my office, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a very nice place to be, and it actually is very reminiscent of a big adventure bike, like a big BMW GS or the Honda Africa Twin. With the screen being here, like I said, it, we do have this new dash. I believe this was on the uh, 2020 models, maybe the 2021 models as well. This is new to me because the Fish Pro has the older style dash. So I love this and what I really like about it, and we'll get into this once we get on the water, is that you have all of your controls here now for things like your phone connectivity, Bluetooth music, all of that. We have the updated Garmin as well, so it's a newer model than is on my 2019 Fish Pro. But one of my favorite parts about this redesign are these new handlebars. So obviously on the Fish Pro, if we just step over here, we have the regular molded handlebars, which are fixed in their uh, depth, shall we say, but you can grab this handle here and you can flick them up. So when I'm standing up and riding, I can have them set up nice and high. And then when I'm just cruising around, I can drop them down like this and it's nice and comfortable. This just adds an extra layer of functionality and it looks cool. I mean, who doesn't like a bit of CNC'd aluminium? So now what we have is the ability to go up and down on this so we can come all the way forward if we want and you can also adjust back here. So we can come all the way up. So if we do a comparison, so you can see just how much higher these handlebars will go. I would say that's probably a good two or three inches higher on the rise and it will come back this way a little bit more on the Explorer Pro. So just a much more easy to tune riding setup. We've also got the ErgoLock knee pads here. Now I do stand up for 99% of my riding, so these are kind of surplus to my requirements. I reckon that once I get on some real nice glass and I'm sat here like this, knees tucked in, down beneath the windshield. This has got a nice little lip here so it kicks the wind over your head. This is gonna be such a comfy place to be. So a very familiar cockpit. As soon as you jump on this thing, if you come off of a, an older one, you'll know exactly where everything is. And again, one of the best things about these skis are the storage. So you pull these two handles together, lift up this whole front, and you have just as much storage in here as you do in the Fish Pro. Super easy to get to everything while you're out on the water. So that is the cockpit. Uh, now I think we should go out and put this thing on the water. This is a 170 horsepower. My Fish Pro is 155 horsepower. So this has got a couple of extra ponies. So let's go and see what that equates to out on the ocean and enjoy this absolutely beautiful day. So one of the questions I actually get a lot is how do I keep these things running so well when I exclusively ride them in salt water? There seems to be a lot of people who are scared of running their skis in salt water, obviously corrosion. Well, it's very simple. Number one, every single time I bring it in within literally an hour, I flush out the entire system and I use this product called Salt Off. There's another one called Salt Away. They're all the same. Biodegradable engine flush and corrosion inhibitor designed especially to remove salt buildup and deposits while marine grade polymers bond surfaces and help repel against blah, blah, blah. So basically this thing eats salt for breakfast. I will flush it with my little mixer thing right here. So you fill this with Salt Away and then I come around to the back I plug it on here, it's a quick release hose thing, and then the hose pipe goes on the other end, and it will send water and salt away into the system. You run the ski for 90 seconds, all this foamy water will start to come out of the jet and the exhaust, and then basically after 90 seconds, I switch it over to water only, so it will flush out the remainder of the salt off, and it's just fresh water coming out of the back, and then you turn off the water, you do three very quick revs just to expel anything that's left in the system, and then immediately kill the engine. And that is how you flush them every single time you take them out in the water. And like I said, I have got over 200 ocean hours on this ski. It had also done 100 hours before I got it. I don't know whether that was ocean or fresh water, but this thing now is about 300 hours old and knock on wood, knock on wood, I have never ever had an issue with it. It has run absolutely great. It's taken me to Catalina and back multiple times. I just love this thing. This is my pride and joy. 
and now it has been joined by this monster so we're going to treat this thing just the same way i also have a really cool uh like polymer spray that i put on to help repel the salt water i'll talk more about that in another video because i think now you guys are bored of me talking and you'd rather see me out on the water having fun so let's take a look at the display down here so on the left we've got our compass our fuel level trim level this ski has 36 hours on it uh and then we also have our miles per hour and then on the right we've got our rpm we've got battery life and signal on my phone and then this is the best part so this right hand screen here is where all the fun stuff happens so if i click the home button i can get all of my launch stats uh, so the total, this has done 36 hours uh, and right now we've got our instant miles per gallon and we've got our maximum speed, which is 5 miles an hour, which is perfect because we are in a no wake zone. And then if we go back to home, we've also got things like uh, phone control, so you can connect your phone to USB and then you can control that all through here if you wanted to. Uh, and then if we go down, we have things like our Bluetooth configuration. So I can play my Bluetooth audio. Uh, this is where I can do my equalizer so I can set my bass, my treble. Well, that is a function that was not available on my 2019 Fish Pro. And I'm changing everything with this on the handlebars. So it's all very convenient. You don't anymore have to reach down and touch this little panel down here. So it's nice that I don't have to take my eyes off what I'm doing. I can just do everything on the controls. Fish finder, we have our depth here. So right now we're in 13 feet here in the back bay of Newport Beach. Uh, and then you can see what we've got on the bottom. Oh, and then it's all touchscreen, obviously. Uh, and then also if we go home, then we have our home. Then we have our charts as well. So if I wanted to do, say, a trip to Catalina, uh, then I can go to my navigation chart and I'm able to pull that up and we can go wherever we want, like right here to Catalina. speakers on this thing are wild. Uh, obviously, I don't want to get copyright struck, but I'm going to play you a little bit from one of my friends, Blau. Now, I'm using a GoPro, so you're not going to get the full experience, but listen to how sick this sounds. It's so clear, and the bass is so good. Oh my goodness, it, like, it just adds to the whole experience. Oh, I'm in such a good mood. It's my birthday tomorrow. This is like the best early birthday present I could possibly wish for. Ah, oh, things are good. Things are good. I'm just so pleased that I'm able to do stuff like this with the support of brands like Sea-Doo. I am just honestly living my dream life. And thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. And this is your sign to get out and live the life that you've always wanted to live. That's the whole reason why I started this channel, is to show you that anything is possible. And if you really want something, you can do it. I'm from a tiny town in England. Not many people leave and get out of there. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you do have the desire to get out out, explore the world, go on epic adventures, do amazing things. You can. You're the only person getting in your way. I am proof of that. I always say this, I am nothing special. All I am is someone that is willing to say yes, willing to take risks, and it's paying off, guys. So I know it's very cliched, and I know a lot of people say, oh, if I can do it, you can do it. But really, really, you can. I promise you. I promise you. So yeah, just having the best day. All right, so mode, sport. It pops up there and it says increased acceleration. Warn passengers to hold on. Well, guys, you gotta hold on, all right? Ready, steady, go!
So did you guys hear about the uh, suspected alien base that they have off the backside of Catalina? There's like been all of these UFO sightings over the years. I only just found out about this. There's been all these UFO sightings on the backside of Catalina where things just drop into the ocean. One of the theories is that there's some like alien base. Kind of cool, kind of creepy. But uh, yeah, I've never seen anything, but I also haven't ridden at night, so who knows? Maybe we'll do a night mission at some point and uh, see what we can find. Look at these houses. Isn't that incredible? Part of me would love to live in one of these, and the other half is like, ah, it's kind of a little bit close to that cliff. Dolphin. Dolphin right there. Hello. So that looks like a couple of bottlenose dolphins just cruising around. Where are they gone? <laughs> Where did they go? They're literally just here. Dolphins? Huh. Okay. He or she didn't want to come say hi. So you often get bottlenose dolphins in this area and typically they're not the most sociable. Sometimes out in the ocean they'll come and hang out, but most of the time they just like to keep themselves themselves and I'm not going to chase them. So if they want to come pop back up and say hi, then we'll say hi. Look like they had a baby with them. Um, but yeah, they just surfaced literally right here. So they've probably gone back. This is all reef around here. You can see where the waves are breaking. So uh, it gets pretty shallow back there. And then obviously shoreline is literally 100 feet over there. So they're probably in here doing a bit of fishing, getting some lunch, but obviously they don't want to come say hi. It's amazing how fast that wind picks up. We came down here and it was absolutely gorgeous. And now you can see the white caps from the wind just blowing over the top of the waves. So we're going to punch back north and uh, yeah, see how this thing does and a little bit of chop because I think we're going to be going into the current. So uh, might get a little bit moist. things about this new one is that I have a rod holder here that will never be used for a fishing rod but it can be used for a GoPro so you guys can hang out down here. I mean it's not ideal to talk to but at least it means I've got my hands free and I can just stick it in there and then go ride. And that, my friends, is why they put that on there. So I've never actually beached the Fish Pro before, but there is this nice little stretch of sand right before you get to the launch ramp. And so I figured they did make these specifically to do that. That is why the grab rail is on the front. And wow, just what an awesome bit of kit. I am so excited for what is to come with this Explorer Pro and with sea -Doo as well. We've had some great conversations recently and uh, yeah, we've just got some epic stuff planned. So stay tuned for that. And again, Sidhu, thank you so much for trusting me to be one of four people in the world to run this, to go create content, to go on adventures, to go explore professionally. Because that's why it's the Explorer Pro. I am just absolutely made up. I love this thing to death. I still love my Fish Pro. That is not going anywhere. And that will now become my buddy ski. So if anybody comes to ride with me, they will be on the Fish Pro. So you will still be seeing that. And who knows? Maybe now we can start to do some modifying and, you know, just do some fun stuff with it. But anyway, that is going to wrap up this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it because I certainly did. Like I said, a lot more to come with this in the future. But for now, please make sure you subscribe if you aren't already. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. We will be giving away 10 of these watches as soon as I hit that magic 100,000 number. And uh, yeah, like I said, lots of cool things to come. So subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up. That really helps. And most importantly, until next time, don't know anything I wouldn't do. See ya.